सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज मनदीप कौर सिद्धू सो ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ एवरी वन आई एम ट्राइंग टू पोस्ट माई वीडियो इन इंग्लिश टूडे राधर दैन पंजाबी सो एज आई टोल्ड अर्लियर ऑल्सो वी विल कीप ऑन पोस्टिंग वीडियोज बोथ इन पंजाबी एंड इंग्लिश यू नो एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे सो आई एम सींग लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हैव जॉइंड टिल नाउ so i was about to discuss about to share the objectives we can work on on uh, and on the objectives our ngo is working on so there are two major object objectives which i felt being in a village uh, that i should address so first is education and second is health so as an ngo we have uh started with two evening schools one in our village and one in in a nearby village so more than like 150 kids are studying in both the schools and we have started with their english skills and on sundays we get, give them computer classes so uh education is at most important uh issue we need to address first and many people suggest that even before food donation before shoe donation uh, you should address education because when people will be educated they themselves will buy shoe and they themselves will be able to have food too so we need to focus on education so according to a report the annual status of education 2012 67% of fifth standard students are not able to count from number 1 to 100 52% of the uh, kids they leave school by class 5th as soon as they complete their elementary school they, uh, those schools are only from 1 to 5th so as soon as they complete their elementary education they uh, do not go to school like to the other school primary school further so 55% of kids up to 8th standard here in india are not able to read english properly and i have personally seen such kids uh, who comes to my own ngo they don't know how to write even their mother's name in english so they are quite behind in english so some of the reasons are definitely poverty and ignorance of the parents and parents do not know the importance of education so definitely that's the reason but uh, as a social uh, you know contributor uh, running my own uh, elementary uh, like my own evening school what i have observed the major reason behind kids not coming to school is what type of education we are giving to them we are not teaching them in a play way method we are not uh, you know bringing out their creativity uh, we are not dealing with them polite uh, you know uh, in a polite manner so that is more important so there is no joy of learning for the kids so it's very important even here in our evening school we try to uh, teach kids in a play way method and we do not scold them at all we try to bring more joy to their lives so that is attracting them to come every day to the evening school i think everybody should do that even you are teaching two kids absolutely free uh, they should be handled in a very very polite manner and in some you know play way methods i just want to quote one example here sometimes when new student comes to our ngo new students comes to the evening school they do nothing they don't write uh, they do simply nothing they don't recite whatever we say they just they know that we don't want to study because the same thing they might be doing in schools too but uh, i just give them colors i just give them drawing and sometimes i just ask them okay you just sit do nothing so when they keep on watching other kids studying for like 15 days for one month two month then they themselves feel like that oh uh, you know even i should study i should start coloring so seeing others they start uh, studying they start coloring so that is one thing everybody can do even kids are saying no and they are saying no we don't want to study try to create some good methods for them so another story i just want to quote uh, once 
a few of my kids they won in an uh, in a sports competition here in my NGO and i just asked them that do something you are a winner and now you have to do perform something and uh, it's a very touching for me when they said okay ma'am can we do sit ups so that's the you know that's one thing which they have learned from the school they are not saying ma'am can we sing song or can we draw something can we perform something can we dance but they are saying oh ma'am can we do sit ups because they have learned doing sit ups from the school i think uh, that's not the way uh, kids should uh, kids should be you know treated so when fewer people uh, gets educated from uh, villages uh, like people like me or many more my friends when they are uh, educated they choose to move to cities uh, i believe if you are an iitian you are an iim or you have studied from a good college you should choose to be in your village you should choose to create something in your own village uh, i think people like us who have educated a bit and they stay in their villages then the villages can perform better we can even even start new businesses through our creativity and we can engage more people we can train them every uh, you know a bunch of like uh, youth uh, they should uh, take this initiative to start something in their village so that more people get engaged i think if you have studied from a good college you should have the potential to turn stones you should have that spark that yes we can do so by doing our bit we can bring major change to the society and i think we should go about it so the other cause our ngo is addressing is health and the other cause you can also work on is health so health is a very very vast topic it's a very very vast cause so we have started like with shoe donations we have not started with the basic things like we must have started from the slums from the people who need us most because that's the area where lot of a big team is required that's the area where you know a lot of effort is required by everybody so even i am out of at a very initial stage i think i also cannot start from scratch start from basics so i started with shoe donations uh, i started with kids who are studying in elementary schools who are studying from class 1 to 5 if they don't have shoe uh, we are trying to give a good pair of shoe to them so sh why a shoe many people ask me this question that why you have started from school a uh, shoe and you must have taken food donations or other causes first so why shoe because shoe is a costly item Uh, a family who is earning up to two thousand, three thousand a month will think, at last, for giving a shoe to his, uh, his kids. So it's like shoe is a costly item. People don't take care of their kids in terms of, uh, you know, buying that item for them. If they have four kids, they have to spend one thousand rupees out of the three thousand rupees, and then their kids will get the shoe. So poverty is just like a disease. through which uh, you know to which all other uh, the all other problems are associated and i think hygiene is the biggest problem which is associated with poverty so people are living in such areas where uh, they are living in unfavorable conditions imagine uh, if it's raining heavily like nowadays also it rains very heavily in punjab so it's if it's raining heavily just once imagine that how people are sleeping in uh, you know in that slum area it's very very difficult so uh, uh, like 2 million people worldwide are suffering from the diseases which are caused when we uh, when we walk barefoot so see if we start with shoe donations also we can prevent lot of a uh, lot of diseases which are spread because of different type of worms especially round worms so we can eliminate many diseases by giving a proper pair of shoe to the kids and i think we often observe kids walking barefoot uh often we observe whenever we are in the market or whenever we see around ourselves we see kids they are uh 
walking bare feet and I'm sure that everybody has an unused pair at their home. So if we give our pair of shoe, an unused pair of shoe to the kid or uh, to any of the uh, boy or a girl who needs it, I think that would be great. So we should come forward with such causes. And next question everybody asks how to volunteer along with Mandeep or along with Smiles.care. So many times I ask, I think you, uh, whenever we do different campaigns, we always publish on the internet. You can directly come and join us in our campaigns. You can participate along with us. You can experience the joy of giving. And the best thing is we as a youth need to formulate communities at our own place. I think everybody should take this initiative to make a club, a group who is working on a social cause. So we need a lot of NGOs coming up. We need a lot of communities which should work. Every college, every institute should have some, you know, uh, members who are working on some social cause. The most important thing I want to address here that only those people should, uh, only those people should work on the causes, on social causes who earn themselves too. So it's not good that you are not earning, you are not able to, uh, you know, feed your own family and then uh, you have just started your NGO as a business. Don't do that. So make yourself capable of opening an NGO, capable of starting a community because you need to be one contributor to the community only then other people will join along with you. So that's very important and I surely believe that everybody can do that. So the hottest rays of the sun cannot evaporate the oceans and even the strongest storms cannot move the mountains. So today youth has to be oceans and mountains to whom nobody can move. And when you're honest, I'm sure that nobody can move us. So everybody, there should be a lot of Mandeeps in Punjab, a lot of Mandeeps in the world. And even I am following a lot of my seniors who are uh, working on different social causes. So it, uh, every place should have one community working, you know, uh, 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 at their own village, uh, working at their own city. So that's more important rather than we uniting and doing things. So keep doing good things, keep posting it, keep sharing with me so that I can share with more people. I hope you like the video. Thank you very much.